Going up there, Jen, after a big win, like what kind of momentum do you feel like you guys have headed into this? Yeah, that was a really big win. I mean, the one point game, I mean, take us back to Arkansas when it just didn't go our way at the same kind of same kind of play, honestly. So just that we learned and grew from that. I feel like that's just been the, the story of this year, just learning and growing and just taking the the losses per se as lessons. So I mean I'm excited for our momentum that we have going into it. How big was that to have that you mentioned the Arkansas and to have mm -hmm. that like literal growth point that you could see like how important was that for you guys as a team to close out a close game like that yeah I mean it was everything I mean even to just making the free throw at the end like I think it was like a missed shot right before the Arkansas and then they came back down so just capitalizing off of like little things that we think is little but like it's really like the momentum change and then our crowd I mean then we had like over 4,000 fans I mean you could tell it got so loud in there and it was just like the momentum and just the the passion that was behind them it was like we got to get this win what has it maybe been about this team that's, you know, coming off a of Michigan State performance, able to show some resiliency and bounce back? What's it maybe been the characteristic of this team to do that? Yeah, but that's another story of our of this year, like just bouncing back and just resilience and just not letting one game define us, whether it's a win or it's a loss, like just being able to turn the page, watch film, learn, grow, because you learn from your wins and you learn from your losses. So just learning and growing and just developing. And I just feel like we we really have taken on that, that type of attitude and character you can show. Well, you mentioned like kind of the story of the year. There's a lot of different, mm -hmm. I guess, angles there. Like for you, what's the biggest one? How would you maybe define what this has been so far? Yeah, I would say individually, I say leadership. I feel like this year I've had to lead in ways that I haven't led before, in ways that's not comfortable for just my personality type, just being more vocal, being more direct. I mean, it, it's definitely has been, you know, challenging for me characteristically, just trying to, to navigate like what does the team need for me and I feel like that made me have to step out of my shell a little bit more and still learning and still growing with that but I think personally I would say leadership definitely what do you how do you size up this third time around with Maryland mm -hmm. yeah Maryland I feel like it's a good matchup with us honestly like they're they're athletic they're long but I feel like we played them we played them pretty well and I feel like you know, the our last time at home, we just didn't capitalize on a lot of shots. Like we, we weren't hitting that game. We just, we kind of let that dictate our defense. But the first time we played them at home, you know, it was one possession game, like three minutes left to go. So it's like, we know that we could beat them. We know that we've been in games with them. I'm gonna watch film again. I mean, third time's a charm, so I could say. And second go around for most of you in the Big Ten tournament. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you have um, experience on your side this time? Yeah, definitely. I feel like last year it was kind of like gear and head like sometimes. It was like we've never really been in these positions and just kind of learning and growing as you go. But kind of being a more veteran team and coming back down there, I feel like we kind of know what it looks like, know what it feels like, know the atmosphere, even the Target Center, just little things like that. So I feel like we have definitely more experience. A lot of tickets have been sold, as you probably know. Mm -hmm. um, are you expecting a different experience that way with bigger crowds? I mean, I feel like we've been playing with them all year. I mean, Iowa, Indiana, even Maryland. Like, I mean, I could go down the list. Mm -hmm. Like, we've been playing with pretty big crowds and crowds that haven't always been for us. And that's okay, too. I feel like we thrive in those atmospheres as well. How have you seen Shea kind of build this year to that moment? What's her value for you guys off of the bench as kind of a spark? Yeah, I mean, when Jada went down, I mean, that gave so much room for someone to step up. And I feel like Shay has been stepping up in practice, most importantly. And like, y'all just now getting to see it, but she's been doing those things in practice. And just let her be confident, like, being confident, just knowing, like, you can do this. And you know, she's a sophomore and, you know, just the whole story, because I've been through it, so right. I understand it. So it's like, just see what she did for us last time. I mean, we needed every point she had, every rebound she had, like, it was so important for us. I'm just looking forward to her team to grow as well. As so someone who's been through that, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. like how difficult is that to go to a new place and yeah. kind of find those first college minutes? Like what's important to, mm -hmm. to work through that? It's tough. It's tough, especially when you didn't play at all, really. I mean, coming to another program, everything's new, everything's fresh. I mean, for me, I was coming to the Midwest for the first time, <laughs> I mean, the snow, like, it's just like, it was a lot of different factors, but I just feel like, you know, you just got to stay true to yourself and just trust in what you trust in and just believe that you're here for a reason. They want you here for a reason and just playing off of that. Jim, is there an optimism about the end of this year being different from last year because of your goal? Mm -hmm. your, your yeah. You're healthy. Like, yeah. It felt like the car was running out of gas by the time we got to the end of last year. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking about, like, how better we feel now around this time than we felt last year. I mean, 
as y'all saw, everybody was breaking down towards this time last year. But I just feel like we're at a good place mentally. I feel like that's most important as well. And if this way, our body's going to follow our mind tells us. So I just think, I think we're ready, man. We're optimistic. We're ready. And just we're just excited for the challenge. What maybe have you seen out of just Makaira the last month mm -hmm. to, to be more of a factor for you guys and, you know, the, the growth process that she's gone through this season with right. some injuries early on here? Yeah, I mean, that's the cook that we know. I mean, I know, like, it had to take a little bit of getting used to the game and stuff because she missed so much in the early parts of the season. But, man, we need that from her. We need that attacking. We need the, the aggressiveness. I mean, she she makes us go. So I just feel like now she's clicking. I just feel like everybody's kind of clicking around the same time. And just then we could all put that together in this next game. It could, it could really be a good one. It seemed like last year, like the NCAA tournament couldn't get here fast enough because you guys were beaten down. Now it feels like if you guys had another week or two, yeah. like, it, is, that, is that fair? Like, do you get a similar feeling? Yeah, I definitely can see from that perspective yeah. as well. Just the idea, like, it's, it's all going to work out for the good. So no matter what what happens after this, like, I feel like it's all part of God's plan. So, you know, just got to trust and believe in it. Thanks, Thank you.